Let's take a moment and talk about AEG Iron. It's got quite a few perks to it to make it top of the range. And the first thing we'll talk about is the safety mechanism because that is what it's known for. So if we look at um, the diagrams here, it's got extra loud stand to stand it up. It's got 30 second also off when you do have it flat and when you do have it upright it's got eight minute auto so you've got it upright you leave it there if you forgot about it if you need to get the phone or make some tea it will turn itself off and it's got a quite a good continuous steam the shot of steam with uh, this iron is 130 grams so if you look here if you do press that it's 130 grams of steam that comes out and that's the spray the thing I found with this quite awkward is with this iron itself is sometimes you can press both together so it's not that ideal but it's it can you have to get used to it and that's the only down point you just have to get used to it it's got the dial system here but again you twist it from silk to nylon to cotton same as all the other uh, irons you get there and it's got the descaling just here if you do want to descale it, you just press here and it will descale the iron. Let's have a look at the sole plate itself. So if we look at the sole plate, so it's got the AEG logo and it's got all the vents where the steam comes out. There's some other holes there where the steam doesn't come out, it's just to let the air flow and air come out quite easily. Uh, it gives you 30 grams of continuous, 30 to 40 grams of continuous steam. So when the steam is continuously coming out, it will give you 40 grams continuous. It's got the resistant logo here, so if you've got something that's rough, it will be absolutely and the smooth finish it will iron everything. And it stands up quite nicely as you can see here. I have to say it's a quite nice AEG finish. Uh, the down points with this is the price. The price is quite expensive, it's just under £80 or $80 depending where you do purchase it. Uh, another down point is only giving you 40 grams of continuous steam, where for that price range you can get more and it's only giving you 130 grams of shot of steam. So that's another down point. And one more is it only giving you 100, 300 and let's have a look, 330 millilitres of water you can fill up. So that's another down point. If you do want to fill it up to a bit more, you can't, so it doesn't have a large regular service. I found this to open quite awkward sometimes. You just need to get used to it, and it does fill up quite easily, as you can see. You just need to put it in the hole, water and you're ready to go. It's a nice medium weight iron. The down points are the things I've just mentioned but the great things about this the auto off when it's upright and auto off when it's down. It's one of the ones if you do want that safety mechanism, a lot of the irons have that but if you do want that safety mechanism I would highly recommend it but for the steam duration and the steam precision that's all coming out I have to say I would not recommend, personally I would not recommend this iron itself because you can get more steam because always watch out for the amount of steam that's coming out and you can buy something with more steam that's the down point if you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't let me know and uh, Absolutely look out for my other videos on irons. There are different irons I have reviewed and looked at. Thank you. This is SMU955 signing out. Goodbye and good night.